What's up, broods and broodettes? It's the Pico Dudes right back at you. This is Sam Rather, and with me, the beast who wrangles the yeast, it's Jeremy Adalgo. Oh, so much yeast to be wrangled in this beer. Serious yeast wrangling. Um, Let's talk about what we're gonna talk about. Tell me about the beer you brought today. All right, so this is the Yeast Wrangler from Holy City. This Holy is, uh, City Brewing. This is our very first patron, Bert Cusa. It's his, uh, it's his request as a part of signing up as a patron with oh, us. So he blackmailed us? No. He, <laughs> when he signed up as a patron. I'll of, totally give you money, part, but you'd need to dance naked part of, in my shoes. <laughs> part of the reward is that we say, pick a Pico pack that, that you guys. want us to review, and then and we'll dance naked in our shoes. And Okay, in our shoes? Whose shoes are? No, no, you make a bitch naked shoes. in your shoes. Not, why wait, women's shoes? Why naked? Uh, if I have to explain that, we got a, a whole lot Because dancing to go naked over. In, in men's shoes is better. You always make them dance naked in your shoes. I'm just going to leave it at that. So, All right. today, Yeast Wrangler, Holy City Brewing, right out of uh, uh, North Charleston, South Carolina. Try getting that out of your mouth. Wow. North, North Charleston, South Carolina. Good job. Be way easier if it was in South Charleston, <laughs> South, South Carolina. Carolina. <laughs> no, I was going to say South Carolina because then it's less likely to get confused. Exactly. But. Um, this sucker has bite, and we've already been sampling as we are trying out some new equipment. So if mm -hmm. our quality is a little different today, we are actually trying out some uh, new equipment so that we can do road shows, travel more, get out to breweries, meet with more people. So we're yeah. going to see how this sounds today and go from there. It's also why we don't have video, but we're trying this sucker, and uh, I have to admit, during our setup, I might have had a glass or so. Uh, agreed. Same here. And it is 10%. It is 10%. By the way, Yeast Wrangler is a, a good name for this beer. So I did the, the actual fermentation on this. I used the airlock on it, and the, like I didn't do it. I, I didn't. Did the I didn't jump. Jump into, I didn't, into, I didn't, I didn't jump into the keg and go. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna eat I'm gonna all the, the sugars and then crap out all the alcohol myself. Because <laughs> beer. Because it's because you're not a brewer unless you <laughs> fucking do that. Like if you're not the one turning sugar into alcohol. Oh god, I'm, I'm peeking <laughs> on the new equipment. Maybe we should start this over. No, we're doing great, buddy. Uh, but if you're not the one turning the sugar into the alcohol, then you're you're just like you're you're, you're nobody. Not, you're not good enough. You barely count as a brewer. It's just like making wine. You didn't yeah. personally step on those grapes. The fermentation on this though was so active, I might as well have been swimming around in the brew keg because I had like was two it hifting at you. It was oh, it was making the noises, but yes. it also it like it blew the seal. Oh, I'm making the noises. Holy moly! Yeah, it it blew the seal after it clogged the <laughs> airlock. <laughs> no. No, it didn't, it didn't blow a seal. It, it, um, it pressurized... Hey, hey, you know what walruses and Tupperware have in common? I don't Do I have to remove this joke later on? They because, both like tight seals. Oh God. You know, <laughs> I'll say I'm going to remove it. You know I'm not. That's presuming walruses fuck seals. But if you thought this was a family-friendly episode, I just ruined that, didn't I? Hopefully I just have figured out to mark all of them as explicit from now on. Our, 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 I know Andy our, Lusk, like his kids used to like our intro music because oh no. they listened to some of the... Oh, Andy, I'm, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sure they're going through some kind of withdrawals or maybe he doesn't care okay, if they Ricky hear the Seals word. Fun. Jones from Arizona is also upset right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tight end Cardinals. No. Mm. Okay. Um, so we got the yeast wrangler. And actually they named it because they like to cultivate their yeast from tank to tank and batch to batch. And they consider themselves at Holy City Brewing yeast wranglers. And so ah. they came up with this name. Um, it is a, falls into that American Imperial IPA, although it's a much more commonly used term as the double IPA, which I think, yes, is what's on the label here. That's correct. But that's really an Imperial IPA style. That is that more robust. Malty, more alcoholic. It's yeah. IPA on roids. So this one is also because Bert um, did Bert. request it. He was so badass. He brewed up a, a his own pico pack. He bottled it. He sent us this this nice bottle with a label on it. And so not only are we going to try the pico pack that I brewed, 
We're gonna compare it to how his turned out. We probably will take a picture if we remember. Oh, I'm absolutely um, taking picture post. and video of the things. Of the we got things and the stuff. The things and the beer and the yeast and the rain Oh, horse. yes. And the tight seals. Or, or. <laughs> and so we got a, you know, it's a boldly flavored, medium bodied, uh, a deep gold to medium amber, which is weird. This looks like the style. Do you know the, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Tell Pico me. Brew stats on Why this don't beer. you tell me? Why don't you tell you? ABV of 10%. We know that's for sure. Holy shit, yes. <laughs> I haven't had a drink in days, and this thing is punching me in the nose. Yeah. Um, or food. So, IBUs of 80, which we will debate here shortly. And an SRM of 3? It's not 3. The way the way it's mine like is. 7 or 8. It's, it's, it is a deep gold, but that is the style, which I'm really confused by, mm -hmm. because it fits the style perfectly. I can't I can't but think that maybe they have it wrong on the Pico Brew website. Yeah, an SRM of three would dictate like something more like we've seen in the loggers. Well, it has a Pilsner uh, uh, grain in it. Oh, man. It's, so it's um, a Pilsner, Pilsner malt. So it's Pilsner and Crystal malt, which yeah. are very clear malts. But this thing is a five hop beast. And it is not a three SRM beer, and I, I'll be interested to see Bert's and see if his looks different. I'm like ninety percent sure now that I got the right Pico pack in this keg. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Were you thinking? Uh, no, I can tell you by my fall downness right now that oh, this is yeah. the right beer. I'm getting the fuck out of my jingle on. That's oh my our god! Special holiday glasses, yes. folks. You'll see them in the pictures. Get our clinkle on. Mm. So, yeah, your wife is super awesome. She got get your jingle on beer glasses. Yes. Um, Ketchu would be disappointed because they're taller oh, than he recommends. Yeah, technically, you should be drinking a double IPA out of a tulip glass. Yeah, we are not drinking these out of tulip glasses. This one has three lips. <laughs> <laughs> Walk away. You see three lips. <laughs> That's a good opportunity to tap out. Somebody's been playing too much Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> it's mutated. It's a mutation. Oh, oh my gosh! It's it's South Park with the Red Dead references. You, Never mind. You, you, you know what though? It's this is a good time. Like, this is a, obviously, guys. Well, I don't know how far are we in this episode, and we have said nothing coherent yet. Like ten minutes. Oh, we've been Seven all over the map. It's ridiculous. This is a good. Uh, it's, so it's not a great beer. This no. is a beer that I enjoy drinking. Well, let's see. The way I brewed it is not. It's not a great Correct. beer. We haven't. It's not a bad beer. It's not a bad beer. A word, I'm going to finish this keg at some point, and I'm, I'm going to talk people into helping me drink it, which shouldn't be too hard. No, it shouldn't. We're going to see how Bert's turned out. Now, keep in mind, his is in a beautiful bottle. It this survived. Had to travel. Yeah, it survived shipping. Oh, this thing. Once I got it, I said, it's the hey. Marco Polo of beer. Yeah, I was like, hey, I got your yes. beer. And he said, you know, it should probably take like another week. To, to just bottle condition. We said, fuck that. So Let's was, open it. No, no, no. I, I did it. I was like, okay. Uh, so it sat in my kitchen, normal room temperature, gave it another, actually, 10 days uh, while mine caught up because mine fermented for, um, so it fermented. This is the one at, on the tap room, right? The one, I, it's currently on the tap yes. room. It fermented for about um, 16 days. You know what I love about the tap room? You can keep serving it and then you can. Throw it in reverse. I can get head anytime I want. Mm, such good head, too. That is the best part about the tap room. Uh, we'll, we'll show videos of Sam's head shortly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, anyways. Spoil alert, it's bald. Wait, which one? Both. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Holy shit, this beer, Is it dude. persistent, though? <laughs> oh, thick, creamy, and persistent. Um, all right. Spoiler alert. Uh, if your kids are still listening, shame on you as a parent. <laughs> or, 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 or congratulations. <laughs> yeah. I don't know which one to really go with that. I'm um, kind of, I'm torn. Your children have received an education. Stay tuned for lesson two <laughs> as we get into the, the rest. So why don't we talk about some, you know, I'm not going to talk about Holy City Brewing. We've talked about where they're from. Uh, their website, fantastic as it looks. And as much as I want to go eat at their restaurant and pub, um, doesn't have a lot of information about them. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm not trying to poop on the East Coast breweries. Uh, I know we focus on the West Coast ones just because we know them, especially the Northwest ones. Sure. But, uh, hey, that's them. And uh, let's more talk about what we're getting out of this beer. So this is supposedly a very hoppy beer. 
So are you getting, what are you getting off the nose? Take a deep sniff. I'm kind of curious what you're getting off the nose of this beer, other than the high. <laughs> no, 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 I'm no hops. Double rainbows. I'm not getting any hops no? off of it. And all I get is sweet and malt. All I'm picking up. Yeah, sweet and malt and, and al- big a little bit both. of both. Yeah, and <laughs> alcohol. Almost alcohol. Like this, um, you're almost getting drunk from smelling yeah. this beer. Ten percent feels low to me. And so I'll, I'll say this, like, you. Why don't you say that? I'm go this. No, I, not you know that. What? I'm this. gonna say. Okay, you say that. <laughs> Damn it. So, so um, now I've completely lost my train of thought. The uh, the beer. It's I seriously I can't remember what I was gonna say. About this, this is that. A, okay, so... Or the other thing. I will say, nose, not a lot of hops. Flavor, not a lot of hops. IBU of 80, either the recipe's wrong or you brewed it wrong. I really don't think you can mess up the brewing unless for some reason you didn't line well, it up and the water didn't get into the hop packs. Mm, which no. is a very low, 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 low chance. Yeah, I, I'm pretty... I'm pretty anal about making sure the, the hop packet... Like, I, I want to make sure everything li- lines up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You think those seals are tight? <laughs> so so this um yeah this came out really alcoholic so i know all the <laughs> all the sugar got in there that's for sure the sugar got in there it fermented well i fermented it i think i said Five 16 days 10 percent um beer. and then it cold crashed forever which is weird because it doesn't look clear to me it looks like a cloudy beer well i think what we're seeing is chill haze like and and that's a fancy term for what well, the fact that the glass is warmer and the beer is colder than like than the glass and the stuff that it's being served out of. I am looking at you through not a whole lot of beer and I can see nothing through this. There is zero clarity. through. This. I don't know. The other thing, too, is like when you're actually doing your fermentation and when you're brewing your wort and how quickly you you get it down to temperature and stuff yeah. like that all actually affects. Did you crash this one? After, uh, for after so long, I think no, I just said that. no, not cold crash. But you no, I have a habit nope. of when your wort finishes, you'll often put your, your I haven't I haven't done brewing that. keg in a sink of ice so that yeah. it crashes within two hours instead of the twenty four hours I usually leave mine out before yeah. I catch my yeast. I haven't done that for like oh you haven't okay. no I'm I'm starting to get it a little bit lazy with some of that stuff just just but because that's what's so cool about pico brew yeah a lot of time you the the lazy. my time is so crunched that as soon as it's done oh. like i'll just take the thing i'll seal it all up i'll go mm-hmm. sometimes if i want to do it quicker especially now that we're going into winter i'll put it out uh-huh. on my deck <laughs> what do you do? have you got a big deck a big deck Sorry. it's a big wide <laughs> deck <laughs> like a tuna can <laughs> go on hey get your jingle on <laughs> short and fat but it fills the gap. Fuck. <laughs> not uh, obviously not my deck. There's no gap for my deck. To fill. Oh, no. Don't explain it. <laughs> um, so I will uh, argue again. There's no bitter in this beer. It's just. Are you turning me down? You keep peeking. You keep peeking. I do keep peeking. I'm trying to it's adjust. I'm not wearing any pants. Mm-hmm. So this is a non-hoppy, very malty, very sugary. Not just on the nose. But the flavor profile to yeah. me is, and that is an imperial or a double IPA thing, is very forward malt, very forward alcohol, very forward sugar. It has all three of those characteristics. I mean, I really feel that even though it's not in the SRM and three is not a normal range for SRM yeah. for this type, this is a beer that nails double IPA. Yeah. Um, I Other would've, than the bitter. I was going to say, I would have liked a little bit more hop. I wonder if the bitter is not coming through because it is... It's still a bit sweet, and it's, it's kind of so. It's, it's like still a sweet so whiskey. alcoholic. It's, a, um, it's like honey whiskey. Alcohol can mask a lot of things, and I feel like in this beer, <laughs> yes, like ugliness. Eighty IBUs is <laughs> one of them. Yes, <laughs> alimony potential. <laughs> um, so uh, this is. I don't know. It's actually a really good winter beer. Like if you want to, if you want to pour a beer that you can kind of sip, it doesn't have the the roundness. Like it doesn't have the dark malts. I really want that bitter to come through to help offset it has some of the stuff. Almost nothing but alcohol and sweet. It's almost like uh, alcoholic, like malty Kool Aid for me. Like a dessert beer. It's like a dessert beer, but yeah. we're drinking way too much of it for. Oh my! I'm. Just smelling this beer, and I get dizzy. Yeah, it's alcoholic. 
Let's try it. Let's try Bert's. Okay, which means we have to guzzle a half glass of this beer. All right, so I think <laughs> maybe I, we should talk for a bit longer. Sorry, everybody, but I want to walk out of here. What kind of episode is this? Like, is this the kind of episode? Merry that's gonna, fucking Christmas, folks. It's get, that episode. Get your jingle on. Oh, my God. It's, um, this one makes me want to play with balls. Bells. Bells. Once makes me want to play with bells. Maybe I shouldn't be wearing pants either. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We just got 100% more gay. Bye, <laughs> listeners. <laughs> uh, Thank God a, there's no video. Yeah, there's no um, meat mistletoes. <laughs> if you if you walk under that, you don't kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably cut that out. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So Holy City Brewing, East Wrangler, <laughs> turning people gay for ten years. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> I'm not gay, it's just curious. <laughs> yep, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, stop it. Wait, do, do it in your JFK voice. <laughs> Ow. That's the most amazing cock I've ever had. <laughs> Sorry. Ask not what you're cunt. <laughs> Why am I doing cunt? <laughs> what? Jesus Christ. I, I really should stop recording this. Like, Spoiler alert. <laughs> this beer is 30% alcohol. I, I, and we've had several of these. It's not even a double episode. I know. So this is like... Okay, I got my stuff together. Let's, let's remember when regroup I, and yeah. cut the rest out. And then we're going to just jump to this point. Yeah, we do We do have to All cut right. that out. That's Snap. bad. All right. So um, it's tasty. But it is not, to me, not a beer I'm going to. Because it, there's not any flavor to it beyond sugar. And alcohol. And alcohol. And malt. But not hops. There's definitely no hops. No hop characteristics. So, so I might have screwed this up. We're going to open... But let's rate this, and that'll give us time to finish this <laughs> glass oh, before we go to Prince. This is such a good show of an episode. Should we just start over? No! Okay. We will not survive <laughs> to the end. <laughs> oh. Mm. Can we take a pee break? Yes, we can. <laughs> We're gonna Hold maybe. on, folks. We'll be right we back. Have to, no, we just, we've got these mics. They can come with us. Oh, yeah. It'd be like game night on Friday where I make you guys listen to Oh, you brought that back into it. Now I gotta cut all the way to this point. So, um... Hey, guys, protect me. I'm AFK. Oh, my God. Um, I would give this beer for me, uh, and I'm sorry, but it's, 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 it's a 2.75. Oh, okay. Did you think it was being higher? I thought you were gonna go lower. No, because... Because it's one. Fun. I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah. Two, there's nothing here that bothers me. There's no flavor I'm getting where I'm like, ooh, I don't want that. Yeah. If you hand this to me and I don't have other options, I will drink this easily. Or if you said, hey, do you want to get drunk tonight? Oh, my gosh, yes. This would be a good one for that. Like, when, when <laughs> your soul, like, if you drank beer in the past when you were first learning how to, like, a, a drink beer because it tasted like shit maybe when you were younger... Then if you said you're just going to drink to get drunk and that was your goal, this is a good oh, beer to make do that. this up. Yep. This is a great fraternity beer um, for all those awesome people who do that. Because it's brewed with Rufalin. <laughs> <laughs> Rufalin? Rufalin. Rufinol? Or Rufies? For Rufies. Short? Oh, is it not Rufalin? <laughs> That sounds way closer to Rufy's than Rohypnol. <laughs> maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I'm, I'm probably not right. I have been drinking, in case you didn't know. So what? let's, I'm going to, here, let's see if yeah, we can catch this beer. sucker without it exploding all over my pants. Wouldn't be the first time. Okay. Oh, the first of all, just smell right. this. Is Bert better at this than us? Uh-huh. Yes. Fudge. First off, why am I not Did I forget it? to dry hop this? Bert, was this dry hopped? Bert, you need to let us know if there were any uh, dry hops that came with this because there's zero dry hop in my flavor here. But the in nose the flavor, I get yeah. just off of opening that bottle had hop, more hop to it. 
Oh my gosh, like so much more hot. Mm. Pour yourself some. Let's figure out what we're missing out on here. Uh oh, something happened with my brew. <laughs> and it was not zesty. Also, mm. uh, Burt's is not a three point or a three SRM. So let's go off of so though. They, yeah, the so far looks quite on. spot on. I poured way too much of that. I'm going to wow. die now. I'm going to catch up with you. Okay. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll have to. Oh my God. The nose on this, completely different. Now, I'm getting the hop. This is a five hop beer, folks. This beer has Cascade, Centennial, Citra, Mosaic. I mean, you had me. And then you added Warrior? Look, make love to me now. I'm in. Yeah, I got none of this aroma. No. None of these hops. I don't know if it's dry hop or, you know what? I was corresponding with one of our listeners who had an issue where actually his hose for the hop oh, cartridge the hop hose. got kinked. And it wasn't actually circulating. I wonder, because I've had the last couple of beers I've had have been very similar to this. Have so they? they have not had much hop. It's just all sweet and malt. Hmm. Well, maybe that's a thing to check. Check your regular... hop hose for kinks, gents. <laughs> Pro tip. Pro tip. Check your hop hose. Check your kinks. hop hose. So let's just start with that nose. I'm getting, I'm not getting nearly the amount of sweet I was getting before. No. No, this smells... It has the funk, but it's the good funk of some hops yeah. being in this beer. It smells hoppy. So Bert will let us know if there was dry hop or dry sack. <laughs> dry bag? Is that what we oh, call that? Oh, that is a lot different than my beer. Like a lot different than my beer. I don't taste the alcohol anywhere close. The mm. hops are right on. Wow. Like, that is, that's great. That's okay. good. To me, there's almost too much hop now. But we just went from what was probably hop of zero to a hop of 80. Yes. Yeah. Because IBUs, again, 80 is what the recipe calls for. I don't know if I, I, if I like, again, IBUs are sort of subjective. I feel so like I'm just get... licking a pine tree. Yeah. Mm. I'm not sure if I like all five of these hops jammed together mm. because they are very different hops. That is a but huge it's a difference. Much more complex beer. The, the, the alcohol is there, but it's in the background. <laughs> Mama, it's in the background. It, ta it plays second. That is a very resiny flavor. Um, That's exact. Um, it is very the that, IBUs the finish. Are, yeah, and the IBUs on are, my tongue. are are pronounced. They're probably closer to that eighty that the recipe calls for. Agreed. Um, and it's got it's got that really good that the bitter hop flavor coming up front. The aromas are are there. You know what? We it's should very, change this podcast immediately. And just do a review on Burt's. From now on, we will only review other people's beers. Kiss. Wow. Although, and I, I hate to go back to beers of days past. That, that not Tough Mudder. What was that thing? Son of a Mudder? Son of a Mudder was good. I can't get it out of my mind. I've pretty much drank all of it. I promised I would share it. I haven't. Uh, um, what about the... Um, Old Rock Brewery's Misery Whip Scotch oh, no, Ale. No, no, it's not some of Mutter. We haven't even tried that. Brendan made that. Yeah. It's the Misery Whip Scotch Ale. You're right. It's the Scotch Ale. I have drank all my Scotch Ale. It's so sad. I didn't share it. I'm going to make more. Sorry, right. I ordered a Pico Pack. It's at my house. I just have to clear out some brew cakes. <sighs> and that turned out great. This crew, is crew breaks. This, <laughs> this is some beer, folks. Um, this is good. This is not a let's have three beers and drive home. Something, something happened. Either... Either I screwed up the recipe, or I've got to check my my brew, my pico, you gotta keep pico your, brew, your hot pose for kinks. I do. I, Me I need too, to, buddy. I need, need to, to double check um, because, and if there's some dry hops added, maybe that I could forgot. be a huge difference too. But you didn't even get the bittering hops. Yeah, dry hops are so aroma. There's flavor and aroma. Yeah. That's it. But there's no bittering in yeah. dry hops. And this has the, some this bitter has finish, the bitter too. for sure. It's got a little this bite a on it, which you difference. want with that. You want that bite to cut the sweet. So so one of the things that initially drew me to to the Pico Brew is, the like, to fuck it up. Yeah, kind of. But the thing is, is that's not 100% true. Yep. And, and that actually sort of endears me to it a little bit because... Like, as we're going through this, like, testing other Pico Packs against our Pico Packs, text, testing all the different Pico Packs that we can brew, and, and, and here, like, I feel like we're on this journey where um, not only am I starting to get to a point where brewing isn't just, it's not the Keurig of brewing. 
it, it's it, not it, at all. it does a really good job Unless of evening you out your your, your brewing process and giving you a really consistent wort and and giving you like some recipes access to recipes that you didn't have before. But the challenge is you still have to develop good habits. You have to be clean about how you how you um, you know put it in your bottles or your kegs or or how you ferment and how you you know you yeah, maybe you have to step up your level of like checking the machine to make sure it's getting the hop infusion that you need, whether it's the bittering, the flavoring, or whatever. Stop falling asleep, dude. I am not falling asleep. <laughs> what do you, what else do you want to say? Bert's beer gets a higher rating than ours than mine. Bert's beer immediately jumps at least a full point. 3.75. Okay, maybe 3.5. Uh, and let me explain. So, yes, please we, do. We got the hops in the nose. Yes, we got the hops on the taste. The mixture of hops in this. Yes, I love Citra. Less, yes, I love Mosaic. Um, but the mixture, bringing the Cascade, the Centennial, does bring more pine and more resin. And as I've said several times, those are not... The flavors I like. And so traditional IPAs are not my thing. Yeah. West Coast IPAs. West Coast really invented the Imperial IPA. And so it was a little surprising to me to see a South Carolina brewery bring in a double IPA. Really? West Clo Coast invented the Imperial IPA. Okay. It did. The Russians invented the Imperial Stout. Or the West the Coast. Indi India. No. The pale ale. It's the Imperial IPA. Is that what you're saying? No, the Imperial I'm, I'm IPA drinking, is an I'm Imperial India right Pale now. Ale. I'm not processing what you're saying. India Pale Ale, created when England used to ship beer to, to India, and they had to add hops, yeah. not as a bittering agent, but as a preservative to right. get it to India IPA. over months of time. Got IPA. It. The West Coast said, that sounds good. What if we made it twice as strong in alcohol, twice as strong in flavor? And so, really, the west coast of the United States of America was the big driver in creating the Imperial IPA, and they named it Imperial because the Russians had invented an Imperial Stout. They took a Stout, Port, or whatever you want to call it, doubled the alcohol, and called it an Imperial. Uh, really, going back to the Imperial families, we talked about this in a previous episode. In America, we helped invent a double or an Imperial IPA. Double America. episodes. America, double episode. Double and IPAs. Double IPAs. And, and then to see this come back to the East Coast using primarily West Coast hops. And I mean, I'm sorry, folks, but most hops are West Coast hops. 75% of the hops used in brews across all of America come from about 100, 120 miles east of us in Yakima. Yeah. So that is the primary source of all hops in America. So we call it a West Coast IPA, and it's a West Coast style. But I'm telling you. It's got that mix of five. Five is too many for me. It's almost confusing. Yeah. You ever been in an orgy with five other people? Mm -mm. You never know who to thank at the end. It's nope. so confusing. Nope. And so it's getting through this beer. We I got. mean, wouldn't you thank all of them? <laughs> I mean, are you going to take the time to thank five, five whole people? <laughs> shake their hands? You know where they've been. I mean, <laughs> where have your hands been? So <laughs> right now... Still not wearing any pants. <laughs> so, I cut that whole part out. Oh, so that's a callback to something no one heard. Hopefully. <laughs> unless I just... <laughs> unless I post this at 5 in the morning and don't feel like listening to the whole episode first. So, now, let me also point out, this beer has a lot of bad reviews on the Pico Brew website. Mainly because of the Pico Pack, right? Mainly because of the Pico Pack. This is one of the first beers that came out from a Pico pack from Pico Brew. Mm -hmm. And it's back when they used the glue to seal down the lid of the Jesus Christ. Did you just take your eyeball out, Mad Eye Moody? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my God, that's so gross. <laughs> Anyways, if I can try while he touches his eyeballs to <laughs> explain this. contact this. is driving me nuts. <laughs> it's driving me. <laughs> you know what the pirate said? <laughs> Arg. I got a steering wheel in me pants and it's driving me nuts. <laughs> Anyways, uh, going back to our topic. Um, what was our topic? Something about something. Something about something. Folks, uh, IPAs. You, IP were, you were on that roll wagon for a while. <laughs> I was super impressed that you could explain to me the difference. <laughs> so, and then you called back to you're not wearing pants, but I'm going to cut that out. 
So my wife was an alpha phi in college, right? My so wife. wife. My wife. You know what their uh, you know what their mating call was? No. I'm so wasted. <laughs> Sorry, all the alpha fees will uh, recognize that. A fees for life. And then uh, Tavanaugh just shows up. Oh, him and Tweak and Bunny and Rapey, all his friends. <laughs> Rapey. <laughs> anyway, holy cow! So, folks, I don't know what I was talking. We have about. reviewed two completely different beers tonight. These are two. So, Burt's does get a point extra. I will. I will Burt's push is way it better. All the way to three point seven five. I don't like piney. I don't like resin in my IPAs, which is why it's a three point seven five. Probably not brewing it myself. Give me a glass of it, or three, or five, and I will drink the shit out of it. You'll drink it. Okay. So I think, I feel like we have to do this other disclaimer. What's this other disclaimer? This other disclaimer is, like, we just ran this uh, contest in conjunction with Taproom. So in partnership with Taproom.club. <laughs> I can't you talk. Can't. I think I threw up a little. No, that's a lot of, that's a lot of alcohol, <laughs> like, making its way up through oh, my guest. It's, it's coming back. It's so, coming back, folks. Get it ready. Hold on. Let me let me try to pull this together and like give myself a cut point. Oh, I'll clap and then I'll know where. Are you clapping for yourself again? I did, and I can't. Is see. Is that something you like to do in bed? Mm -hmm. I'm the best. <laughs> this episode is fucking horrible. <laughs> this episode brought to you by fucked up. Ten percent too much. Six. Oh. This is six liters of beer. I am going to have to do so much editing tonight. You will do zero. You will do zero editing. I know. So okay. if you want to be shit-faced, just order this pack, and Yeast however regular. you brew it, it will turn out... Regardless of what you do, you're going to have high alcohol liquid. Um, <laughs> it's called alcohol. So um, <laughs> this probably could run the car. This could run your car. Uh, racing fluid. Either one of these. Like, the they only, both are equally alcoholic. By the, the, way. the main difference between one um, has flavor and one doesn't. Yeah, mine doesn't. And that's what I like about Burt's. Even though it's not the types of flavors that I traditionally fall to or like, yeah. it cuts enough of the sweet and cuts enough of the alcohol that it makes it drinkable uh -huh. and enjoyable. Still not something I'm going to seek out. Yeah. I, unless I'm tired of living. <laughs> want to end things unless tonight. I just want to have a great party and get everybody fucked up. No, unless you only have eighty six minutes to throw an entire party before everyone has to leave. This is the beer for that party. <laughs> Why eighty six minutes? That's a very particular time frame for Got this it. beer. If you have three or that's more hours for your party, do not serve this beer, or you will be cleaning puke up. Yeah, that's how long it takes to get your jingle on. 86 minutes. 86 minutes, your jingle is fully on. Look at me. If you, No pants, I am fully jingled. <laughs> jingle balls. <laughs> Meat mistletoe. I'm so sorry. I can't. Stop. I have to edit this episode so hard. <laughs> oh, you said hard. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. There's one listener who's so disappointed in all no, the no. sophomoric <laughs> sexual There's one you listener know. still listening at this point. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this into gold. I hope so because uh, I hope the mics are picking everything up right. I uh, I hope that uh, this has hopefully been a useful episode. We, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm not recommending this to anybody unless they like a piney IPA and want to fuck up real quick. Yeah, and and I think I think we have to mention that both you and I have been on diets for the last. Two weeks. Yes. And so that means so, we haven't been drinking outside of this podcast. I haven't been eating more than a thousand calories a day or so. So this thing has got me. It didn't take long for this to hit me. It took me. <laughs> I think I think <laughs> seven like, minutes. I think it's probably around 13 to 16 ounces is what we've actually had to drink. How lightweight does that make us sound? What do you, are you, what do you mean for refill these glasses four times? Not all the way up. Each one of these glasses was, what, maybe 12 ounces? <laughs> the most I've seen it get filled up is halfway. No, look at where my stuff is. Put your stuff away. <laughs> <laughs> Stop pointing so to the glass stuff. with it.
We really should record this whole thing. Ripcord. <laughs> ripcord is the right answer. <laughs> Pull the ripcord and bail oh. on this episode. Oh my god. You know, when is this going to air? How many episodes do we have in the can? One? Why are you asking me that when I just told you how drunk I am? Because is this going to be a Christmas episode? It's going to be now. You know, Christmas is on a Tuesday. I think this should be just like... Maybe we Merry just... Merry Christmas, ho, ho, ho. Santa does it for the hoes. Shit, we're going to Vegas, dude. <laughs> now you're just totally off topic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I'm going to release this uncut to our patrons. Oh, it's released. <laughs> you released the, the you episode. You get the uncircumcised oh, 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 version. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my goodness. And then we'll, we'll give the... Who uh, wants the uncircumcised version? I don't know. Is that kind of... I don't know why it grosses me out. It weirds, like, it weirds people out. Let's just agree. I won't suck an uncircumcised dick. Well, I can, that's easy to agree to. I won't <laughs> suck a dick, period. So, the fact that it's uncircumcised, we seriously, dude, I have to cut all this out. Uncircumcised dicks just look like earthworms. It's not okay. <laughs> it's like the thing from Dune. <laughs> It's like a giant earthworm. <laughs> Frank Herbert got his entire fucking book out of looking at his own dick. <laughs> oh my god. And it turned into a franchise. Sting was in it. Where have we gone with this episode? <laughs> I'm so happy right now. We've turned this into Dick Wrangler. <laughs> dick Wrangler. <laughs> Jesus. That guy's gonna need a bigger rope. <laughs> Why does it have two urethras? All right. So, uh, I don't know. So, folks, thanks for joining us. What do you think of Burt's beer, Jeremy? It's way better than mine. I was going to give it like three to three and a half stars. Three and a half. Ah, you know what? I'm going to pull back a little bit and I'm going to join you at about 3.25. 3.25. 3 so, I'm going to give it a half point over your version. And simply because, again, I don't like the mixture of hops I'm getting. I think Bert did a great job brewing it. Bert did an awesome job brewing it. The only reason I'm down as low as I'm at is I just think this is not a style of beer that I'm excited about. For the 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 uh, description that you gave earlier, you this is right on. This is right on the description. Yes. This is what I expected from a double <laughs> IPA. Yeast Wrangler, this high in alcohol. I don't Big, know how multi, I screwed robust, it up. Robust, high alcohol, but high hops. I'm still getting high bitterness. Yeah, I'm still getting the malt notes that were in mm -hmm. mine that came through. Mm -hmm. Somehow my my hops didn't come through. So that's the yeah. thing that you I got to figure hops. out. Yeah. Um, everything else. Like, white men can't jump. I had white white hops can't jump. I have to be so bad. I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm at 3.25. You're at 3.25. We're gonna call it on the Burt version, which is the correct version of the Yeast yeah. Wrangler. I uh, look at that through the microscope of two drunk guys. This isn't our style of beer. I'm nope. glad we brewed it. I'm glad we got two different versions. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to send us versions to compare to all the time. Uh, we will drink anybody's beer. Send us your beer. We will shout you out. We will talk about how great you are. If it's yeah. great. If it sucks, I'm sorry. We're going to call that out too. Yeah. We try and be pretty straightforward. Oh my God. I can't feel my hands or feet. Nope. <laughs> and and it's, not, it's not warm outside either. That might be part of it. It is 26 degrees outside. That's I why the alcohol is not a bad thing right now. It's like, almost like antifreeze for my body. Kind of is. I say we go lay in the snow. First, I have to pee. All right, let's do that. All right. Another good news. Out. out. You've reached the end of another episode of the Pico Dudes podcast. Connect with us at PicoDudes.com, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And if you enjoyed our show, we'd love for you to subscribe, rate, and give us a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. I'm on iTunes. Also, if you want a code that will help give you some discounts off of the Pico Brew equipment, Z150D equals $150 off of the Z series. Pro, P R O, 125D gives you $125 off of the Pico Pro. And C75D gets you $75 off of the purchase of a Pico C. We hope you enjoy listening. Look forward to hearing from you. Go dudes, out.